Hello everyone, I'm Luffy here, back again with another Awakening Chaos Era video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I beat the Hurricane Ruler in the Guild vs Environment, or also known as the Rune to God. So currently, our guild is located on floor 7, and we have already cleared the 4 mini boss tower, which are surrounding the final boss, which is also known as the Hurricane Ruler. And before, you, before I show you the team, these are the talents I've selected. We have captured 30 ancient relics to unlock 3 talents and these are the talents I have selected for my team that relies on negative effects. So the first talent will be the case of death that increases the chance of a bonus turn to 10% per negative effect. So if you are able to get at least 10 negative effect on the enemy or on the boss then it will be a 100% chance to gain a bonus turn. Then the next talent or the second talent will be the basic spirit which increases the attack by 20%. So the team that I'll be using is an Ignite team and Ignite team benefit a lot from additional attack stats. For the other talents right, this one is additional speed. This one is not necessary if you're able to get your heroes up to the minimum speed of 150. And then for the resilience, basically this one is to improve the hero survivability. But this one is not needed because I have a healer in my team to help to, uh, help to improve my hero's survivability. And last but not least, for the third talent, I've selected Holy Hourglass to increase the round limit uh, by 5 rounds to allow my team to do even more damage to this boss. For the rest, right, like the Blessing from the Gods, this one is to increase the survivability. Let's say if you're able to sustain yourself, then you do not need to use this Blessing from the Gods. And Blood Curse is mainly for the mini boss tower and does not work for the Hurricane Ruler boss. So just choose this one to do maximum amount of damage. Alright, so let me show you the team that I used to defeat the Hurricane Ruler. And this he and this team consists of Abaddon, Bachelet, Philida, and Florence. So this team uses the Ignite strategy, which means that my heroes will apply a lot of Ignite debuff. Then I'll extend those Ignite debuff. And then using Abaddon's ability, which deals massive amount of damage depending on the amount of negative effect on the boss. So this is one way to deal massive amount of damage especially when you have a lot of debuff on the boss. So let me quickly go through the roles and responsibilities for each hero, starting off with Florence. She's there to apply the bonus attack, which is uh, very beneficial for Bachelet as well as Felida to ramp up the Ignite debuff quickly. And then she's also able to provide healing. And if you gear her in the fate set, right, as you notice there, she healed all, all of her allies and, and also provide AoE shield that protects them from damage. But if you're faster than the enemy, right, then the shield buff will expire. So I think that doesn't really matter as long as you gear, uh, gear her with a lot of HP to, to heal her allies with a lot more healing. And then apart from that, uh, do, not, do take note that you need to provide her with some focus stat so that she can land her increased damage taken on the boss. Uh, next on the list, the second fastest on the team will be Bachelet. He's there to ramp up the Ignite debuff. And at the, at the start of the round, right, you want him to apply the defense down first so that Abaddon can extend it. And once you once Bachelet has already placed the defense down, then all you need to do is just use his basic ability and his ultimate ability, that's all. And then the third hero will be Abaddon. He's between to go third, so basically he's there to, uh, basically to extend the, the random stats down debuff, so you stay longer on the enemy, and also deal massive amount of damage. As you notice there, uh, Bedon just dealt 185,000 damage. So this damage is depending on how many negative effects on the boss. So the more negative effect on the boss, the more damage that Abaddon can do with his uh, ultimate ability. And then we have Pilida, which is there to extend the Ignite debuff. So currently, Abaddon isn't able to extend Ignite debuff, only Pilida, who is the only epic hero, or only the uh, hero in this game, who is able to extend this Ignite debuff. So that's why she's very crucial in this team. And apart from that, she's also able to provide this AoE attack up buff, which allows my heroes to do even more Ignite damage, and also improving my... Uh, Abaddon main damage output. And once you're able to get Filida to apply those uh, Ignite extension, right? 
then you can use Aja Leap to go back to Abaddon so that he can do even more damage. But do take note that you need the Ignite debuff to be extended a, a couple of, of uh, rounds. Otherwise, right, those Ignite debuff will fall off. Then Abaddon will not be able to do much damage. And yeah, so that's basically the, the strategy. And also another tip, right? As you notice, right, the boss just performed an AoE Hurricane attack. That attack right will perform a stun on the uh, uh, the stun on the slowest uh, unit. So currently my Philida right is built with high resistance, and she's the slowest unit in the team. So the boss will always target her to apply the stun. So as you notice right, once the boss performs that hurricane attack that stuns my hero, my hero will be able to resist it as long as you build them with more than hundred percent resistance, or I think hundred and thirty resistance. Depending on if you if you have Abaddon to apply that uh, fo focus down on the boss, and also have the Florence in the leader leader spot, because uh, currently Florence is able to uh, have a leader ability that improves the resistance of all of her allies by twenty five percent. So this release this is really good and really helpful in prevent uh, allowing your heroes to not forfeit their turn. Upon the upon eating the stun, and yeah, so another tip that I can give you would be, uh, you can gear Abaddon in an assassin set so that he'll be able to do even more damage with his ultimate ability. Because if you gear him in the curse set, right, it's kind of RNG. Sometimes it happens, something something it doesn't. But assassin set is like constant; it always provides a a fifteen percent damage throughout the battle. And has a 50% chance to improve the damage by 35% more. So this one way you can maximize the Abaddon's uh, full damage output. Then for Philida, you can gear her in a curse set. Uh, same goes with uh, Bachelet. Both of these Ignite heroes, right? The if you gear them in a curse set, then they'll be able to apply and ramp up those Ignite debuff quickly, so that Abaddon can do more damage. Maybe like starting on round eight or round nine. Up to round 15, he will be able to break the shield easily because the boss, right? After like round 11 up to round 15, the boss will have this uh, massive amount of shield that protects him. So if you're not able to break the shield, right? He will not eat the damage. Uh, the damage will not be transferred to his health. Here's another tip for you when using Florence. So let's say assuming you have already cast her ultimate ability and you want her to reset her ultimate skill cooldown quickly, you need to perform at least one attack using her basic ability so that she can gain additional turn through the Kiss of Death talent and then only use her like, special ability to perform the healing to allow your heroes to survive against the next subsequent uh, AoE attack from the boss. Uh, other things that I can take note of is uh, just uh, provides a sufficient focus stat to your debuffers like Abaddon, Bachelet, Pilida as well as Florence here. And currently, right, if you're able to farm the relics from the Rift of Chaos, I highly recommend you to start with the Earthen Titan. So you can gear your, your main damage dealer like Abaddon or Bachelor of Elida for more uh, damage output. So for, for Bachelor as well as uh, Felida, I highly recommend you to get the attack stats uh, Astro Crest. And then for Abaddon, you can either give him a Astro Crest that is that has a primary stats of attack percentage or a critical damage uh, stats. And try to get the ones that provide additional uh, damage boost based on the area, such as like guild versus uh, uh, guild battles, which includes guild versus environment. Or you can also go for the one that scales based on the target's health. So the lower the health the enemy has, more damage you can do and then for Florence you can get her the Arctic it also called the Astro other Astro Tome is it I'm not sure which one is it the, the middle one from the Arctic Goliath to improve her health so she can do even more healing to her allies and if let's say if you do not have Abaddon you can substitute him with uh, Raven Raven, although Raven isn't able to do uh, a lot more negative effects like uh, Abaddon, 
as well as her poison debuff does not really work on you versus environment boss as well as the enemies there she can deal massive amount of damage with her ultimate ability uh yeah because her ultimate ability also skills based on the damage um, i mean based on how many negative effect on the enemy it deals like a few hundred thousand like maybe a like 200 per 200 per hit so the total damage it will be like 600,000 damage but the bad thing is you need to have her, her her ultimate is not always reset it's ideal to pair her with Eren Eren is able to reset her abilities quickly with his ultimate ability and yeah so uh so let me give you some other alternative let's say if you do not have Florence you can substitute uh, with Zitlin but Zitlin isn't really that good because you need to also remove the positive effect from the boss because up to round 10 right the boss will deal massive amount of damage so you can get other like Evelyn first on alright so the battle has ended let's check out the battle result so the total damage that will be like 12 million which uh, uh, gets me 3,903 points and by looking at the damage data as you notice instead of 12 uh, million damage I did 18 million damage this is inclusive the damage dealt to the boss shield and these are the total damage dealt to the boss using two teams which uh, in total gives me around about 33 million damage so let me show you how I build uh, all of these four heroes alright so this is the first hero on my team who is Flor Florence and let me show you her overall stats so she has around about 24,000 health 221 speed, 37.5% focus, and 116 resistance. So basically, this build is basically a supporter hero build. And since she's a healer and her healing is based on her health, ideally, you will want to have her health as the highest so that she can perform more healing. And then just between her to go first. Currently, I just have my... I'm using my leftover gears to get this speed, 221 speed. But you do not need uh, this high amount of speed as long as it's above 150 speed then you can speed tune your four heroes accordingly then most importantly is to have sufficient focus for the give first environment you do not need that much focus i think 60 percent focus will be sufficient and resistance basically is to avoid the is to resist the negative effect applied by the boss like the no positive effect and stun and yeah so that's basically her stats for her gears, currently I'm gearing her in a guard set that grants her a shield with strength equal to 30% of her max health for the 3 turns and fit set allows her to convert 50% of the healing amount into shield for 2 turns so currently uh, this fit set doesn't really help much because my heroes are taking additional turn which expires the shield uh, shield buff that is placed by this uh, fit set uh, alright so that's basically my gears that I've used for the give us environment so let me quickly go through the equipment here starting off with the weapon you can pause the video at any point of time to uh, refer to uh, what stats that I prioritize on her so this is the weapon this is the helmet as you notice I prioritize on the health and this is the armor with some defense, resistance and health percentage agility also helps a lot to deflect the attack and this is a speed boot to speed tune her to go first and as usual get for health defense and resistance critical rate is not useful for her because she doesn't she's not a damage de uh, dealer and this is a health ring with triple roll on speed and finally we have a health necklace with some double roll on speed and some resistance and agility here this acumen is to is basically a fable set to provide ad additional substats like focus and currently for the relics, I'm just gearing her with my leftover gears that provides attack percentage. Her glitch and abilities are all maxed out. So far she does not have any ascension. But if you're able to get her the ascension, this will improve her health. And for her masteries, I did not invest any mastery, uh, mastery books in her. And it's not necessary. And yeah, so that's basically my Florence build. Let's move on to the second hero on the team. Who is a bachelor? All right, so this is bachelor, the fire leopard that wields a long fire spear that applies the ignite debuff. So let me quickly show you 
the overall stats that I prioritize for him as a Ignite a debuffer hero. So these are his overall stats. I prioritize in the attack, uh, attack stats, speed, critical rate, critical damage, and focus stats. So these are the ideal stats for uh, Ignite debuffer like Bachelet. And then for his gears, only I'm gearing him in the curse set as well as a raider set. So basically this build is also used for the guild boss. So this one also can be used for the hurricane ruler. So this curse set allows him to have a 35% chance to launch a bonus attack using his base ability and raider set to apply additional 15 speed. So curse set allows him to do this base ability. And this basic ability applies ignite so this allows him to ramp up the ignite debuff on the enemy quickly okay so let me show you the stats of each equipment starting off with, with the weapon so this is the weapon here with attack focus critical rate the helmet with some attack critical damage critical rate ideally this agility should be focused at then we have the armor we have critical rate and resistance, precision and defense. Ideally, this defense percentage should be attack percentage. And once I get a better curse uh, gear, now I will replace this one with double roll on attack percentage and critical damage. And this is a speed boost with some attack, critical damage and flash test attack. Ideally, this one should have a critical rate stats here. And this is an, it's a critical rate ring. Ideally, I want to swap out with an attack percentage ring. So that I can do even more damage through the ignite. And then finally, we have an attack necklace that provides focus, critical rate, critical damage, and flash test attack. His glitz and abilities are all maxed out. For his relics, I just get the one that provides attack percentage so he can deal more damage through the ignite. And this one is basically additional focus through the astro grill. Currently, he has three ascensions in him. You see, I got a trick of peace. And the fifth essential basically allows him to gain this damage up, which is not necessary for this particular Hurricane Ruler battle. And for his masteries, I did not invest any mastery books in him. I think he's good as it is, but if you have additional uh, mastery books, you can improve his critical rate so that you can gear him in an attack percentage ring. And yeah, so that's basically Bachelet. Let's move on to the third hero in the team, who is Abaddon, my main damage dealer. Alright, so this is the third hero in the team, who is Abaddon. So basically, he's my main damage dealer, who deals massive amount of damage through his ultimate ability. And he also prolongs any stat reduction effects, like the defense down, increase damage taken, attack down, focus down, resistance down, and speed down. And one of the cool things about his trait is the Soul Reaper. He deals 10% uh, damage per negative effect. And... Once you get him to the second ascension, he'll be able to do 15% damage per negative effect. So as you notice in the Hurricane Ruler battle, right, I have over 99 Ignite debuff stack on the boss along with other negative effects. So that's around about 115 negative effects. Or let's say we, we round it up to 110. Uh, 110 negative effects on the boss. And that means like... 110 110 around about 160 170 around about 160 at that let me do a calculation with my calculator here all right so that is 1650 percent more damage dealt through his ultimate ability that's crazy yeah so basically abaddon was already buffed up to do even more damage all right so let me show you his overall stats he has around about 5267 attack 153 speed this one he is speed tuned for the guild boss and he has 100% critical rate as, as usual the mish dealer should have 100% critical rate but do not go overboard on this then dis distribute the additional stats to critical damage and attack stats he has around about 60.5% focus to apply the debuff on the enemy and some resistance uh, basically this resistance is not really useful because it's not the slowest target and yeah so that's basically his stats for his gears, currently I'm gearing him in an assassin set as well as a raider set. Assassin set allows him to deal 15% more damage to the main target and have a 50% chance dealing additional 35% more damage. So this one right, allows him to do even more damage through his ultimate ability because he is mostly spamming his ultimate ability. 
uh, with the help of his trick that resets his uh, ultimate skill cooldown quickly. Alright, so let's quickly go through the gear stats starting off with the weapon. So this one provides critical rate, critical damage and attack. Then we have the uh, helmet with some critical rate, the, the, uh, resistance and defense. I will swap out this helmet with uh, more attack stats and critical damage so you'll be able to do even more damage output. And this is the armor, some critical rate, critical damage and precision. Uh, Abaddon is not really an uh, arena uh, uh, hero, so you can swap out this precision with an uh, attack percentage. So these are the, some room of, for improvement to allow my Abaddon to do even more damage. And then this is the attack boots with some critical rate. That's just attack, critical damage and focus. This one is a critical rate ring. So once I'm able to give him more mastery books, then I can maybe swap out this critical rate ring with a critical damage ring or attack percentage ring. So this one provides him with some speed, fastest attack, and critical damage and attack. Finally, we have an attack necklace with some critical damage, speed, and focus. Ideally, this uh, resistance would be like maybe like health percentage or critical rate percentage. His glyphs and abilities are all maxed out. On also for his relics, this one is to provide additional critical damage. This one is more health. And then finally, we have a fastest attack. Ideally, this one you should get the attack percentage, Astro Grail. Finally, I got him to the second ascension. I got two copies of him through summoning and one copy through, uh, through fusing him through the matrix by purchasing the matrix from the shop. And for his masteries, I've, op I've invested three mastery books in him. They improve his critical damage and health percentage and then also his side, side strike ability. So once you fully book him right, he'll be able to do even more damage in the guild boss as well as the hurricane ruler. Alright, so that's basically my Abaddon. Let's move on to the final fourth hero in the team, who is uh, Philida. Alright, so this is Philida. Basically, she's the only hero in, the, in this game who has a unique ability that extends the Ignite debuff. Basically, her heavy bolt ultimate ability applies the Ignite as well as increasing the duration of, of, of all Ignite effects. That allows Abaddon to do massive amount of damage once you have a, once you have stacked like 99 ignite debuff on the enemy. And the cool part of this, she has a special ability that applies, I think is it her trait that applies the attack up buff to allow your heroes to do, to do even more damage. Alright, so that's basically her abilities. Let's check out her stats. So basically, I prioritize on the attack, speed, critical rate, critical damage, and focus. Something similar to how I build a bachelor. And for her gears, I'm gearing her in a curse set as well as a mixed uh, gear set with, to achieve the stats that I need for her to work in the Hurricane Ruler. And this is a weapon. Basically, it has some focus, health, speed, and resistance. I choose this gear because I want to speed tune her to be the last as well as go before the boss. And ideally, you want this to be like attack percentage critical rate critical damage so that she can do even more damage to help out the, the team damage output and this is the helmet has some resistance critical damage critical damage and plus stats defense i was unlucky to get this uh, stats on the last upgrade the most important thing is to build her with a lot of resistance that, that's why as you notice the helmet have some re resistance here then same goes with the uh, armor the cape this one also has some resistance Critical damage, critical rate and focus, focus to apply the ignite debuff. Then we have our attack boots with some double roll and resistance, critical rate and critical damage. And this one is a critical rate ring, with some attack percentage, health and focus. Ideally, you want to gear her in an attack ring once you get her some mastery books in her ability masteries. And finally, this one will be the attack necklace with some critical rate, resistance, health and speed. So you want more critical rate on her so that you can swap out this critical rate ring with an attack percentage ring. For her relics, I just get the one that provides her with more attack percentage. Same goes with the Astro Grail. This one is to provide her with more focus stats. Her glitch and abilities are all maxed out. And for her ascension, the most important thing is to get the 5th ascension so that she'll be able to apply this attack up to all team members for 2 turns. If you don't have the, uh, the the fifth ascension, right? This one will be a five round cooldown rather than a four round cooldown. 
and for her masteries i did not have uh, i do not have any leftover mastery books for her so if you got extra then i rec recommend you to get this this tool critical rate so you can swap out with her attack ring and get this one critical damage and if you are, have more mastery books then you can improve her attack stats with this a game mastery effect all right so that's basically my build for philida so in summary this is the hero stats and build for all of these four heroes florence bachelor abaddon and philida so the main takeaways for these four heroes are florence you just need to build her with high amount of health so that she can deal a lot of healing and for bachelor as well as philida just provide her provide them with a lot of attack stats because they'll be dealing their damage through the ignite and philida on the other hand just build her with 100 percent resistance or more so that she can resist the stun that is placed by the boss of every like three rounds and then for abaddon just build him with a uh, high amount of damage and uh, attack stats and critical damage and most importantly gear him in an assassin set to allow him to do even more damage through his ultimate ability if you are not able to get any good assassin set then you can swap out with a curse set so that she can deal additional attack through his, uh, through his uh, basic ability so yeah that's the summary of this four heroes build so that's the end of my video showcasing my team that i used to beat the hurricane ruler using the ignite strategy to deal massive amount of damage to the boss especially when the boss does not have his side minions to apply that uh apply those plague debuff that improve his damage output and more and more importantly right the boss have a unique ability where his defense will be increased by 100% if the side minions are still around so this strategy works really well once the side minions is down so do take note in mind that only use this strategy once the two birds is uh, defeated like these two birds here and these birds are called the hurricane keeper so as you notice right this boss have a uh, ability known as Stormheart Grand Stormheart at the start of the battle if allies are present so if there's these two birds right his defense is increased by 100% and his health cannot drop below 50% so you will need to take down the bird first before you go take on the hurricane ruler the boss so yeah so that's another tip for you when uh, to know when to use this uh, ignite strategy alright so if you found this video helpful do give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my YouTube channel, you can click on the subscribe button as well as ringing the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I upload a new video on this channel. You can comment below on what videos you would like to see on my channel and I'll take those uh, ideas and to make new upcoming videos for this channel. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!